So are you using an email like this for your business? Mybusiness at gmail.com when you should be using something like this. So it could be info, hello, my name at mybusiness.com. This is much more professional and it'll create a lot more credibility for your business. So coming up, I'm gonna show you how to use G Suite, Google's email service. So for the price of a Starbucks latte, you can create your own business email. Hey, it's Jeff from The Fig Co., a digital marketing agency that helps small businesses grow. On our channel, we'll teach you how to grow your audience and acquire customers online. So if you think videos like this one can help your business, I'd encourage you to subscribe to our channel. Today, we're gonna to talk about one of my pet peeves. So I meet with business owners all the time, and I can't tell you the amount of times I've looked at their website, their social media, or their business card, and it's their business at gmail.com, or Yahoo, or Hotmail, and it just looks really cheap and unprofessional. So coming up, I'm gonna show you how to use G Suite from Google. So for five bucks a month, you can create a business email that'll make you look much more professional. So why don't we hop on the computer and I'll show you how it's done. All right, let's check out G Suite. Get started. So there's a 14 day free trial. a business email for Jeff's burger joint. It's just me right now. Located in the US. Current email, Jeff's burger joint at Yahoo. Yep, I have a domain. Jeff's burgerjoint.com next my name next so here I could do info I could do j at Jeff's burger join I could do hello let's just do Jeff set a password next I'm not a robot. All right, which one are vehicles? Here, here, here. Great, create account. All right, account has been created. Go to setup. All right, add people to start this. Create users for your team. Let's just, I've got one right now. I'll, I added all users, email addresses currently using right now. So let's, it's very easy in the admin panel to set up other emails if you wanna add other people on your team or add info or add something else later. Next. All right, so now the next part, you needed to, to basically verify and tell Google that you're the owner of this domain. So it's gonna take you through a few different steps. Let's see. Verify by adding meta tag. Um, so if you don't understand what a meta tag, I think add the main host record is probably the easiest. And then it says, Okay, it knows that I bought the domain at Namecheap, open the Namecheap website, log in, or then again, it gives you other methods. So I'm, I'm already logged in. Okay, I've opened the control panel. Okay, add a new text record to your domain. So let me show you how to do this. So you're here, here's my domain. And it's gonna be a little bit different depending on where you bought it, but it's it's pretty similar. And there's usually tutorials if you Google how to do this, Google will teach you or where you bought the domain will also walk you through it. Um, let's see, so let's see, let's go back. So just burger joint manage and then in DNS, So in DNS, what I would wanna do is add a record. 
And then see if we go back here, it says add a new text record. So let's see what it gives us here. C name text record. Host. Host is just the at symbol. And then what's next? And then this whole thing. Oops, I'm missing the G. Paste that in here. And then say, okay. I think that's done. I added it. Did I save it? Let's see. Looks like it's saved. I mean, I could even here refresh this page and make sure. Okay, it looks like the text record is there. I saved it. Go to the control panel. Okay, I've opened the control panel for my domain. Create new MX records, okay. So this seems a little complicated. Let me just walk you through. It's really not that bad. So MX records again here, let's go down. Oops. Next. I missed something. And so if you have any problems, there's always detailed instructions you can open up. So, okay, open up the control panel. MX records. So name, cheap, set up G Suite text records. Okay, so there's a there's a mail settings that I need to find here. Oh, here we go. All right, so mail settings you see down here. So up here is where I change the DNS and add a text record right here. If you scroll down mail settings and so here what I can do custom MX record so let's see what it says here okay priority one at this priority one host is at and then this And then save, add another, host at, priority five, and then this, paste that, priority five, good, add another, Priority five, then this at paste five. Then there's at priority ten. Paste here ten. One more at this is this priority 10 check 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 okay so i think that's add all these priority records again i can go in here net refresh i 
And so here I have one, two, three, four, five MX records. I have the text record it asked me to do. So let's see, I created new MX records. There actually weren't any MX records to begin with. If I had that hosted somewhere else, I might have to delete those and then add the new ones. So I'll skip this. Um, and then I saved the MX records and then verify domain and set up email. So the email set up and now again, it's gonna go in and verify domain verification and email setup complete. Next. Okay, so there's, I think, two different plans here. One is the business one, which I think has unlimited um, storage. For me, I've used the G Suite Basic and I haven't run out of space yet. So let's just go with this. So $5 a month, one user for right now. Um, I've read the agreements. And this is basically setting everything up for after the trial. All right, so business, Jeff's Burger Joint, my name. So now it'll ask me to put in my credit card information. And so with this, basically, so you don't have any interruption if you start using this email, it's not going to stop working after the 14-day trial ends. Okay, so I added my billing information, so there's no interruption of service. And it looks like I'm all set. They're going to see if I want some other services that I don't think I need right now. So let's check. So I have Jeff at Jeff's Burger Joint. And my password. Do I accept all of this? And there we go. Welcome to your business email. So sometimes with all the stuff with setting up with where you bought the domain and everything else, this might take a day or so to actually start sending and receiving emails, but it looks like everything's here. And then if you go to the admin console at any point, if you want to add other people, change the email, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory how to do all that from there. So hope that helped. So now for the question of the day. What I want to know from you guys is we're going to start doing a lot of videos around social media. So if you can write in the comment section, which social media network do you have the largest audience? Is it Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, LinkedIn? Um, leave it in the comment section and we'll know where to focus some of our future videos. So that's it for this one. If you want to see more videos from us, there'll be a couple of them over here. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do that up at the corner here. Thanks. Until next time. Bye.